Hey everybody, welcome back to creating scenery for Microsoft Flight Simulator using free resources. The last video in our Quonson Hangar series. I am in the sim. You do not see my picture. You're probably saying, thank goodness. Well, when I'm in the sim, um, my image freezes on me anyway. So, so I am turning on the project editor and opening my simulator I mean opening my Burke Lakefront project so I am selecting all this stuff and we will try to make this video short as possible because when I'm recording the sim my videos get big alright so I am opening my project so you can see the hangar just showed up in the background way back there that green top one but I'm gonna open up the actual scenery in the editor and we are going to okay so there's the main terminal right there okay but we're not concentrating on that today so I'm just going to limp over here and see what kind of errors we get all right well i can tell you right now that i forgot to put my ceiling <laughs> forgot to export my ceiling out whoops i got my roof but i don't have my ceiling so i need to fix that that's not good all right but there's the helicopters all right so this is uh so yeah why did i forget to do the ceiling i oh i must have turned it off for some reason well anyway i'll turn it on and re-export uh i only have to re-export lod 01 because that's the only place i have the ceiling all right so this is what our hanger looks like in the sim And this is uh, drawing LOD01 right now. So let's uh, go to nighttime real quick. Check our lights. So yeah, the inside's lit up. You can see some light coming through a little bit through these translucent windows. Lights on the ground. And if I drop down here and let's take a look at our fluorescent lights that I have on the ceiling dang it I w wish I didn't forget that but that's okay it's no big deal that's there we go there's our fluorescent lights up here okay so the tubes are shining up shining the floor inside looks good now let's go back to daylight Okay, that really bugs me. Dang it. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, I'll fix that. That's just me. Now we're going to zoom out. Uh, I'm going to go up a little bit. Point down my... And we are going to zoom out until... Remember, I have the detailed version of it showing up when the... Um, severe is 50% of the screen alright so we're gonna keep on going back until I can see if something makes a change yep right there alright let's go forward a couple times alright here's the yellow helicopter alright I kept the yellow helicopter in X01 I mean X00 there's both helicopters in X01, we deleted the yellow helicopter, right? So when I back, now you saw it disappear. That means we are now looking at LOD01, okay? And then we keep going back. I'm gonna go up and we're gonna go back until that changes to LOD02. Up a little bit more 
I can still see some individual frame there. Bam, right there, okay? So now this is LOD 02. So when you're making your pattern around the airport, um, it's gonna be using the low poly version, the low textured version of the hanger, and it shouldn't affect your frame rates, okay? And then we zoom in and now we're getting a little bit more detail. And then I drop down and then zoom in a little bit. And there's the helicopter shows back up. So now I'm in LOD 00, zero again. All right. So that's how the LOD, the levels of details are working for a model. Now I just need to go back and turn on my ceiling and re-export it um, so I don't have a transparent ceiling like I did okay so but that was my fault not 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 the sims fault so I want to see what our sign looks like so I'm gonna go back to dark real quick go back to nighttime so there's our signature sign you can tell that it's on Then when I get way out, now it turns off when I'm this far, but that's okay. It would just be a really, really light line, light, light, uh, small light anyway. So yeah, uh, other than me forgetting to bring my ceiling in, we did great. So I hope that you guys learned what you needed to and that you're satisfied with the content so there's our welcome to cleveland i'll add some lights to all this um i'll add some interior lights so these windows light up a little better at night but i am quite pleased and i hope you are too so Thanks for watching this long, drawn-out series on the Quonset Hanger. And I look forward to you guys coming back for any new videos that I put up. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Uh, and if you feel inclined to buy me a coffee, buymeacoffee.com slash myphysicalworld. You guys have a great weekend, and we will see you on the next video. See you guys later.